hello friends welcome back to original code dragon so today we are going to see how we can set up wedge term in a minimal and best way to use it as good as possible so let's start we'll head to wedge terms official website And now we can click on download Linux. You can use your favorite OS. So I'm going to use Linux only for now and paste it here. It will ask for your password. And now sudo app update. Now you can install wedge term, which is sudo app install wedge term. So wedge term is installed if you search the app you will see wedge term if you open it now you will see it's a black screen and you have options so you can click right click here and you can see here you can see here like there are multiple options so we can use one for example if we want to create a new tab you can use control shift t and to move around tab we can use control tab and if you want to create a new tab then control shift t as well so yeah but this is black screen and it's we have to make it a bit good in theme and add various option we cannot see a scroll back option so let's see how we can do that so we can go back to now our terminal first we can create from here as well but i would suggest to go to the terminal i'll close this and i'll close this as well so here we need to create a file if you have vim editor or you can use nano create a file hdm.lua now first setup will be We have to do first set up the wedge term variable. Let's do it. Now I'll just paste it here. We have to use the config builder to maintain create a config in the wedge term. After this let us set up the color scheme so i will use the default color scheme now you can use and check your color scheme what you want to use now we will set up the font config.font and my font is fura code This is option you can use comment in lua with double dash. This is optional. You can use default font. Now after this, what we need to do is we need to re return the config. So I'll save this and when we open our new app page term. You can open from CLI as well. So we are getting an error. Line number nine. Attempt to index a nil value global wedge term. So we can see. So here there is a typo.
we can use it from you can see we have now changed our theme and font you can install the fira code font so i'll increase the font size with control shift plus or control shift minus now let us configure i can see here we can configure the window padding so because if we want to use the astro and vim or any other emulator then we have to configure let us open the vim it works good so we'll configure the windows padding here now we can open it directly from here it's up to us or we can open from terminal so i will use the terminal only for now config dot window padding left equals to zero i'll set padding zero this is good we want the vegetable to occupy all the space what we can do now is that we can enable the scroll bar as well if we see here there is no scroll bar so we want to enable the scroll bar so we config dot enables and we can enable the scroll back lines I'll use 10,000 as value. So if you can see here, here scroll back is enabled. So I use one. Yeah, here it is in black color. You want to can change the color as well. Then you'll have to check this one. now i have the background image as well so you see here i have the background image of dragon as per channels name so i can configure this one so i'll have to set up config dot window background image which two and it's in you can see here We can copy this one. If you're on Windows, then copy and make it sure it is forward slash. Now we want to increase. Do some configuration. If we see now, let us see. We have got the dragon. Let us open it again. We'll save this one. So I haven't included the file name is it right yeah after including the file name so we have got our terminal if you see the dragon image you can use your favorite image as per your need if you i'll increase the font size now last remaining bit is that we'll adjust uh, background image set the brightness I'll make it dimmer 
you and saturation now you can see it is a bit lighter and we are able to read the text properly so if you are using astro and Vim, you also want to make it transparent so what we can do let's go to the config file And here it is. We'll start it up. We can go to community.lua. So here we'll go to Astro Community website. Here it is. And here let's search transparent. Okay, I want in code. You can go to color not visible and you can see here it is transparent and blue yeah so it is the path is astro community color and transparent and blue if you can see here by default it is calling the another transparent and blue package so we will use the community package now what we can do here is that let's copy this line and we can use the pack color and instead of lua we can use the transfer and at line number one we can comment out this line to enable it Now let's do Astro update. Okay, we all update here. Let us close this one and open again. And now it is downloading. And after it has opened, we have to use transparent toggle. After use transparent toggle, it should work and you can disable it i like this feature it is up to us when we want to disable it or when we want to enable it or toggle it i have enabled this one and yeah this looks great thank you